back to another episode with me, Belfire, and today we are back in Space Engineers working on the flagship's main weapon platform. Yeah, I didn't realize this was going to be such a big project when I first started this. It's a very big and very, very complicated project. That's why I'm still working on it. I mean, the most difficult part was figuring out the weapon. And how the lift was going to work. But after that was figured out, it got a little bit easier. Not much, but a little bit though. So basically what I'm doing right now it's just simply making a very long line of hinges that <clears throat> pistons will go on to uh, sort of form this piece here. Or form a version of this piece, but it'll be, it'll be so it can only go straight out and in. Now my question is, it's not going to play nice. Great. And it's been so long, I think I might have forgotten how to play the game a little bit. Also, as you can hear, I'm not fully healed yet, or not healed is not the right word. Um, I'm still a little bit sick, but that's the right word. Yeah, I'm still a little bit sick, but oh, oh, I should be fine soon. But what I do need is some form of... Control panel. Okay, so it's you, you, here, there. <coughs> Um, weapon skirt. Lower limit of zero. So now I need to set every other one to one RPM so that they all will go forward. And don't worry, I will set all their velocities the right way once I fully set this up, but I'm not there yet. And yeah, I could probably pull this off with half of the hinges, but I'm not really bothered by it. The, by the fact that I'm using so many hinges to do this, but yeah, just the annoying bit of going through and adjusting every other piston. Not piston, hinge. Okay. Weapon skirt. Maximum. Maximum. All of these I will set to negative one. Just so 
they stay in place. So, well, let me finish this. <clears throat> There's that one. And last one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over here. Um, weapon skirt. And click reverse. And I do not want to share Nasha tensors with this thing, it turns out. Okay. Here we go. Now it's going a little bit better. I mean, my computer's not happy about everything I'm placing, but... Oh well. Yeah, so this is just a really slow pro process. Okay. And now that I see this, I realize I've made a mistake. A mistake. So let me just go around and ground, grind these down until they're no longer fu functional so that I can easily add them to the weapon skirt grid. There we go. That's the last one. So now, rotor, um, <clears throat> okay, good. So now, weapon skirt, reverse, and yeah, I know what's going to happen. All of these are going to slowly rotate, 
which I'm perfectly fine with. They're basically just going to rotate to 90 degrees of what they were before. The fun bit will be hooking all this up with merge blocks. That's going to be the scary part. Because that is when Clang will most likely strike. Yeah. And he's already struck once while I was doing some testing with the elevator lift. That was not fun. 